like water, nitrogen may occur as a solid, liquid, or gas. These changes in state are called phase shifts. Specifying the conditions under which phase shifts occur forms a phase diagram. Now, scientists are studying the phase shifts of nitrogen by subjecting its molecules to extreme temperatures and pressures. They hope to gain a new understanding of nitrogen and other similar elements, including hydrogen. At room temperature and pressure, nitrogen is a gas, but it can be cooled to a liquid, both fluid states. But then, as pressure and temperature are added, it goes through some amazing changes. Alexander Goncharov, Viktor Struchkin, and Russell Himley from the Carnegie Institution, with Jonathan Crowhurst from Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, compressed liquid nitrogen in a device known as a diamond anvil cell. The diamond anvil cell generates ultra-high pressures by squeezing a sample between two gem-quality diamonds. A laser is used to heat the sample through the transparent diamonds, and a technique called Raman spectroscopy analyzes changes in the sample's molecular structure as they occur. A gigapascal is nearly 10,000 times the pressure of the atmosphere at sea level. At 2 gigapascals, nitrogen becomes a molecular solid. At 120 gigapascals, over 1 million times normal atmospheric pressure, plus heating, nitrogen becomes a monatomic solid. As Alexander Goncharov explains, filling the gaps in nitrogen's phase diagrams has implications for the study of other critical materials. Hydrogen, for instance, is theorized to have fascinating properties under high pressure including transformation to metallic, superconducting, and superfluid states.